It is my pleasure to introduce the three finalists of our first ever clinical accelerator worth up to $2 million in funding. The finalists for Cure Brain Cancer Foundation's 2022 clinical accelerator are Professor Wee Gang, Professor Terry Johns, and Professor Michael Brown. Watch now to see these experts explain their innovative projects and understand why this funding is so critical in developing new therapies for brain cancer as quickly as possible. Our project is looking to take two drugs that we've been working on and combining them to examine how the best way to use them in patients and then to take this information and design a clinical trial for patients. So the first drug is one that overcomes the problem of the blood-brain barrier that prevents many drugs from getting access to the brain. We actually trick the body's own uh, defenses to take the drug into the tumour and that way the drug can then kill the tumour cells using its radioactivity. The second drug that we give then actually makes this radiation more effective and so we get increased benefit. So um, how will this positively impact patients? Well, it's firstly giving them access quickly to two of, in my opinion, the most innovative drugs in this area. It's also using radiation, which I think is very innovative. We know that both drugs are well tolerated and this means that we can maximize the dose without too many side effects for patients. A patient's own immune cells can be genetically enhanced in the laboratory becoming CAR T-cells. The CAR T-cells are powered to home to brain cancer and not to normal tissues. CAR T-cells attack cancer at multiple sites, including its critical vulnerability, its own blood supply. Using surgical specimens and animal models, we will target aggressive brain cancer and in a sustained and lethal immune attack, destroy it. The Clinical Accelerator Grant is the most wonderful opportunity for Royal Adelaide Hospital Cancer Researchers to model this approach precisely in the laboratory. Then later it can be transferred safely and effectively to the clinic. We expect that our completely new treatment will more effectively control cancer for longer and spare patients toxicities of conventional treatment. So we're working with a company called Patris on a unique antibody called um, PAT-DX1. This antibody is very unusual in, in that it can go across the blood-brain barrier into the brain tumour, get into the cells and stop them repairing DNA damage. Now cancer cells have a lot of DNA damage so stopping them repairing it can lead them to die very rapidly. We can further enhance this by treating the cells or the patient with radiotherapy and causing extra DNA damage, therefore the antibody becomes more effective. We are getting ready to take this antibody into the clinic in 2023. We want to know the best way to use it in brain cancer patients, and we want to test it in our models with, in combination with radiotherapy. Brain cancer remains a highly lethal disease, and we actually believe that this is a good way we can help current treatment be more effective.